Hello students and welcome to another Math and Man lesson. Today we're going to learn how to evaluate piecewise functions. First of all, what is a piecewise function? Let me try to put it in my own definition and I'm going to use this visual to help me explain it. Piecewise functions are just multiple functions split up by different intervals. For instance, this is saying that anywhere where the domain is more than 4, to use this equation 3x minus 5. So anything more than 4, we'll put an open circle representing that it cannot be 4, more than 4. I'm going to use this line right here, 3x minus 5. Anywhere where, it, where it's equal to 4 or less, I'm going to use the function of x squared to evaluate my function. So closed circle meaning it could be 4 or less. I'm using x squared. Looking at that first question, evaluate when the function is 7. Let's see what interval this belongs into. Since 7 is more than 4, I'm going to use 3x minus 5 to evaluate f of 7. To evaluate a function, all I have to do is put the domain where the x is. So that's 3 times 7 minus 5, 21 minus 5, and I get 16. All right, second question. This one's kind of tricky. It's saying, what is the function when x equals 4? It's kind of tricky because both of these have a 4, but only one of them equals 4. And if you were thinking that it's the second equation, then you're exactly right because of this equal sign right there. So to evaluate f of 4, I'm going to use x squared. Plug in 4 for x, so x squared, put in a 4 in there and 4 squared equals 16. The last question, what is the value of f of negative 3? Negative 3, what interval does that belong in? Well, that's less than 4, so I'm going to use x squared again to calculate f of negative 3. I always tell my students to use parentheses when they're plugging in anything squared. Some calculators will give you the wrong value if you don't use parentheses. Negative 3 squared just equals 9. That's pretty much it. Pretty easy, right? How can I check if my answers are right? Well, let's just look at the graph right here. f of 7. When x equals 7, then it's saying that my function should equal 16. So I look at 7 all the way up to 16. Yep, that matches f of 4. So if x equals 4, then my graph should equal 16 as well. 4 is right here going up. Yep, that's 16 as well. And negative 3. If x is negative 3, then my y value should be 9. And it does match. Oh no, a 3 equation piecewise function. But I'm pretty confident that you can do this. Pause the video, try it on your own, and on the next page will be an answer sheet. Here are the answers. First thing I did was to color code my intervals. That way you know where to plug things into. First equation is used when your domain is equal to 1 or less. The second equation is when your domain is in between 1 and 3. And then the last equation is when your domain is more than or equal to 3. For number 4, f of 10, since that's more than 3, I'm going to use the function 6 minus 2x. Put that in and you get negative 14. Number 5. 2 is between 1 and 3, so I'm going to use that second equation in blue. And that one's pretty easy because no matter what, the function equals 3, no matter what value you plug in in between 1 and 3. The last question, number 6, 0. 0 is less than or equal to 1, so I'm going to use the first equation. Plug in 0, negative 2 times the absolute value of 0 plus 1 is negative 2. Hopefully by now you know how to evaluate piecewise functions and I will see you on the next episode when we will learn how to graph piecewise functions. Peace.